Some Galaxy Fold 6 ever became public, rumors were saying the firm will offer a bigger variant named the Galaxy Fold 6 Ultra. While this model didn't show at Samsung Unpacked, the rumor mill indicates another Fold variation is on its way. Let's go right in and explore all we know about the purported Z Fold 6 Slim or Z Fold Special Edition. Initially, there were speculations that the Fold 6 Ultra had been cancelled, but since then, we've heard various fresh rumors stating Samsung still has another Fold model in plan. Technically, the prior assertions that the Ultra isn't occurring could not be altogether untrue. Previously, the term Fold 6 Ultra was tossed about, but new speculations say the phone would debut under the name Galaxy Z Fold Slim. Bear with us before you presume this to be an ordinary Galaxy Z Fold 6 with a distinctive paint job. Despite a simple moniker, this forthcoming iteration of the Galaxy Z Fold 6 is delivering some important hardware modifications that might revolutionize how we see Samsung's top smartphone. For those seeking a clue, this phone is the same smartphone that we have known so far as the Galaxy Z Fold 6 SE. Samsung's Galaxy Z Fold 6, upon introduction, earned mixed reviews for making few modifications to the tried and tested recipe. Critics and customers were unhappy with the girth of the smartphone and nearly no noteworthy advancements to the photography area despite no drop in pricing. Rivals like Honor, Vivo, Google and OnePlus have been making great progress with respect to refinement and modernity. Hence, an enhanced version of the Z Fold 6 was anticipated to arrive out next year. However, the theories and leaks pointed to Samsung launching a more sophisticated model of the Z Fold 6 sooner than anticipated, and the specification sheet might leave many impressed. Initially anticipated to be dubbed the Z Fold 6 Slim, this foldable might drive other companies in the category back to the design boards. While we are yet to obtain any specifics on the debut date and its likely cost, here's a collection of all we know about the forthcoming Z Fold 6 Special Edition. There are three major upgrades that the Z Fold 6 Special Edition is expected to bring to the table. The current Z Fold 6 appears nice, but compared to other foldables out today, it stands out with its thickness. In fact, the Fold 6 is thicker than the recently introduced Honor Magic V3 and the Google Pixel 9 Pro Fold. This is where the Z Fold 6 Special Edition comes in. Based on the leak, this variant of the Fold 6 will be smaller at 11.5 mm of thickness, which is 0.6 mm less than the vanilla Z Fold 6. The decrease in the thickness may be attributable to the elimination of the digitizer, which also implies there won't be any support for the S Pen stylus. Quite unusual for a special edition phone to lose out on a function accessible on the normal model. The Galaxy Z Fold 6 Special Edition will also experience a change in its display sizes and aspect ratio. It is reported that the primary display would now measure 8 inches, which is somewhat bigger than the regular Fold 6's 7.6-inch display. More screen estate on a book-style foldable phone is always appreciated, particularly for individuals who prefer to multitask with 3 to 4 applications in windowed mode. When folded shut, buyers are expected to be greeted to a smaller 6.5-inch display. Compared to the normal Z Fold 6, this is bigger by 0.2 inches. It remains to be seen if Samsung succeeds to accomplish the increase in screen size by growing horizontally or vertically. Phones like the OnePlus Open and Pixel 9 Pro Fold are coming closer to having a rectangular-shaped display. Since the Fold 6 Special Edition is all about reducing fat, we don't have any expectations of seeing an under-display fingerprint scanner on the main or cover displays. Lastly, we anticipate the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Special Edition to do something about its camera configuration. The regular Fold 6 gets its camera technology from the vanilla Galaxy S24, and although that's powerful enough for recreational shooting, it can't measure up to Samsung's Galaxy S24 Ultra and other current foldables in the market. With the Fold 6 Special Edition though, the rumors suggest that Samsung could be replacing the 50 megapixel primary sensor in the main camera with the upgraded 200 megapixel sensor we see on the Galaxy S24 Ultra. An upgrade in the primary camera sensor could bring notable imaging and videography improvements, which could help it survive against the likes of the Pixel 9 Pro Fold and the Honor Magic V3. Considering the current advances on this area, we anticipate Samsung to debut the Z Fold 6 Special Edition sometime in September. Don't be shocked if Samsung attempts to grab the attention of Apple's 9 September launch event by introducing an updated foldable the following day. 
That said, the Z Fold 6 Special Edition could scarcely make an effect on Samsung's foldable portfolio in the worldwide market. It is reported that Samsung might retain this thinner Z Fold 6 for the Chinese and Korean markets, avoiding large-scale global areas like Europe and South Asia. While this might be frustrating for those anticipating a thinner Z Fold 6 coming out later in the year, it also clues towards where Samsung could be headed with next year's Z Fold 7. The Samsung Z Fold 6 SE is said to have the same essential components as the normal Fold 6. This implies you may likely anticipate a Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 for Galaxy SoC, possibly supported by the same 12 gigs of RAM. Storage variations could be a little different as this is a custom model, but anything in the 256 gigs to 1 terabytes range sounds logical. So what's truly new? The only substantial modifications we've heard about have to do with the display and the device's thickness when folded. Along with hinting at the official SE name, even Blast also posted photos that appeared to show the phone's dimensions. An 8-inch main display, a 6.5-inch cover display, and a thickness of 10.6mm folded and 4.9mm unfolded. If correct, these specifications would suggest the special edition screens are larger than the Z Fold 6s, but the new phone might be substantially smaller when folded 10.6mm versus 12.1mm. Unfortunately, even with the enhanced stimness, it's not quite as stunning as you'd get with China-based foldables, such like Xiaomi Mix Fold 4 and Honor Magic V3, which are approximately 9.5mm and approximately 9.3mm thick, respectively. It's also worth noting that the significantly slimmer design comes with a trade-off. The Z Fold 6 SE will apparently omit the 0.3mm thick digitizer required for S Pen functionality, meaning you won't be able to use Samsung's trademark pen on the tablet. In stating so, Tipster Iced Universe subsequently stated that S Pen support was still on the cards. Blast also believes the new foldable is superior in nearly every category than the Z Fold 6. However, it's smart to remain wary about this specific assertion until we get more clear facts. Samsung's reticence for thinner designs presumably derives from worries regarding durability, at least according to a recent study. New materials and components may enhance durability, but they also might raise prices, and there's always the chance of unanticipated new concerns as well. A recent claim from Galaxy Club says that the Z Fold 6 SE will share similar camera features with the normal Z Fold 6. This has a 10-megapixel front-facing camera and a 12-megapixel ultra-wide camera. However, Samsung could eventually enhance the under-display camera to 5-megapixel from the 4-megapixel one utilized on the Z Fold 6. Blast said in August that the smaller Z Fold variant will really feature a 200-megapixel primary camera. That would be a considerable resolution boost over the Galaxy Z Fold 6, implying greater short-range camera zoom via picture cropping. We also got our first apparent glance at the gadget in early September, when Android Headlines uploaded a photograph. The photo shows a phone that seems thinner than the Z Fold 6, while still boasting a greater camera bump. Now, let's address the important questions. 1. What may the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 6 SE pricing be? The Samsung Fold 6 is currently extremely pricey at $1,899.99, but how much would the Z Fold 6 Slim cost? The only information we have regarding the cost so far hints toward a price tag north of the equivalent of $2,000. While it's a whole different discussion whether that's even a decent price to spend for a phone, it's worth remembering that this phone isn't likely to be available in the US at all. 2. Should you wait for the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 6 SE? Considering the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Slim may only debut in limited numbers for the Chinese and South Korean markets, there's nothing need to wait if you have your heart set on a Samsung foldable. The Z Fold 6 is a terrific phone and doesn't seem to be much different from the Slim. Not pleased with the Fold? The only other book-style foldable coming to the US this year is the Google Pixel 9 Pro Fold. If you don't mind importing and dealing with any carrier compatibility difficulties, you may even choose for a China-based foldable if you believe all the internationally accessible alternatives are simply too thick. 3. When is it anticipated to be out? The Fold 6 Slim will likely debut in October, however just for South Korea and China. Some reports claim it might be early 2025 instead, however. 
Following the Samsung Z Fold 6 introduction in July 2024, reports regarding the business working on a Galaxy Z Fold Slim have gathered significant pace. Samsung would brand its mystery new foldable as the Z Fold Special Edition, and it will reportedly stand out for its thin form and bigger screens. So yet meanwhile, we have just heard whispers and leaks, with no real proof of the foldable's existence. This is changing today with an apparent render of the Galaxy Z Fold 6 surfacing out online. So let us know what you think in the comments section. As always, see you tomorrow. Peace out.